Congress held its first hearing today on the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan. This is since the White House released its report earlier this month. Now, both sides agree the withdrawal was chaotic and are now concerned about what comes next. KCAU 9's Washington correspondent Jesse Chenur explains. Afghanistan is once again a terrorist safe haven. National security experts painted an alarming picture Tuesday of what Afghanistan looks like 20 months after the U.S. withdrawal. The threat environment in Afghanistan is bad and it's getting worse. Nathan Sales, the State Department's former counterterrorism coordinator, told a House subcommittee Americans should be worried about the roughly $7 billion worth of military equipment the U.S. left behind. The fear is that they'll turn it against us uh, and our allies. Simone Ledeen, the former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for the Middle East, said she's concerned the Taliban may also be selling off those weapons. That's likely one um, aspect that will come back to bite us. This panel warns while the threats are growing, the U.S. intelligence is more restricted. We are in a situation where the bulk of our intelligence, at least as it's openly discussed, comes from flying drones. Dr. Jonathan Schroden with the Center for Naval Analyses said drones currently spend more than half their time in the air just traveling to the hotspots. And human contacts on the ground are harder to develop. Those types of efforts, even if they have longer payoffs, are worth investing in now. These experts cautioned Congress to keep Afghanistan a top issue, predicting the ramifications of the withdrawal will persist for at least the next decade. In Washington, I'm Jesse Tenor.